So he's the gentleman who had a trauma about two weeks ago, motor vehicle accident, and we were wondering if he was a full or dry. Ultrasound can give us a precise evaluation of uh, is there fluid, where is it, is it safe to tap it, and qualitatively how much fluid can there be. When we were giving him diuretics to empty him, he's dropping his blood pressures. So in this case here, we wanted to see if there was some fluid to get tapped out, which we found. Plus, I could see he had a normal heart function, so the heart is beating well. He had a normal cardiac output, no major valvular problem. And I could see that he is fluid overloaded. He has a large dilated inferior vena cava with no variation with breathing, telling me that he has some fluid overload. At the same time, he needs that fluid overload to keep a good circulation uh, because his blood pressure are borderline. So we were able to answer all of that. And the first question when I asked my resident, what do you want to do to have some answers before we did the ultrasound? And she said, uh, let's put a Swangans catheter in, which was what we were doing before and still are doing for some indications. So when you want to know what's the pressure in the left side, right side of the heart, pulmonary artery, you can do that put that catheter that has been there since the early 70s. But, you know, it's a central line, you have to have access to the patient, you have potential infection risk. In five minutes, we were able to look at the lung, look at the heart, uh, look at the uh, cardiac output, central venous pressure, and now act on it. So I told them, just a little dose of diuretic. If he, he drops his blood pressure, we're gonna bring it up with a vasopressor to increase the vascular resistance of the vessels, not by giving more fluid, because he has enough, and we're gonna get fluid out by a mechanical uh, way, meaning that we're gonna put a catheter in getting it out, trying to both help his pressure problem, blood pressure problem, and his oxygenation problem. So um, that's, you know, just in a few minutes uh, changing what we can do. And clearly, we don't have to move him to do a CT scan. We don't have to put any needles in him, apart from uh, the one we're gonna take to put the, um, the catheter right here. Uh, and um, we'll see how it goes, but we know exactly where we're heading all at the bedside. Thank you.